Step three of our route selection is to consider the big weather picture. The main point here is to quickly get enough information to know which large areas we're going to need to avoid and or whether to take a northerly route, southerly route, easterly route, westerly route to get us around the weather. To get the big weather picture, we're simply going to look at every weather overlay picture on the movie map. The pull-down menu gives us a list of pictures, and we start off with the very top one, which is radar. Now, whoa! Big weather system sitting right there, somewhere near our route of flight. So let's zoom out, get an even bigger view of what's going on with the weather. So I'm going to go to the overlays, and I'm going to go from radar now to satellite. And we can see on the satellite imagery, there's clearly some big system affecting my route of flight. You can see those really deep white clouds. Then I'll pull up TFRs, and the interesting thing is here is this will give us the active and the pending TFRs. Then I'll come on into Aramets, and the nice thing is I can start to take my finger and tap around to see what each one of these are. Notice, because of the weather system sitting near our route of flight, we've got a lot of Aramets and a lot of Sigmets. So every time I tap my finger in a different place, it'll bring up something different. So here we've got the convective Sigmet. I can scroll these things with my finger down to see all the information. I'll tap around again. This will be a convective segment here. Tells me it's a convective segment. So that's a really cool feature. I really like that. Again, it's helping me to build that model. I can go to flight rules. And now what I'm starting to see is how this affects my flight. You can see there's a purple dot right below my flight path. So you can see that's clearly going to affect me. I'll look at the temperatures. I look at the dew point spreads. I look at the visibility again. There's a big red one right below my flight path. That's going to affect me. I can bring up the wind barbs and take a look at the winds. I can take a look at the ceilings. Again, the ceilings are being affected on the south portion of my flight path. I'll look at the sky coverage. I can take a look at pie reps, and I can actually tap on these pie reps to actually see what the pilot said. I'll take a look at lightning, and you can see again, what I'm seeing is the lightning is to the south of my flight path. Well, obviously, I'm probably going to want to route around to the north because I don't want to go anywhere near lightning. And then the last thing I can do is, you know, I can pull up the fuel prices. And you see those red fuel prices? I'm certainly not going to be landing at those airports where the fuel price is over $7 a gallon. And then the last thing I'll do is I'll leave it on the radar because the radar, again, gives me the best picture of what I need to avoid and how I possibly may do that. Now, we do have a caution for you, and that caution is the weather overlay on the moving map does not complete the full picture of the weather. All it does is show you the current weather. It does not show you the weather forecasted in the future. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to look at the forecast weather imagery, which we can find by pressing the imagery tab. This is like having your own WSI computer at home. If we tap on featured here, I can pull up the flight rules. I can hit the close button. I can go to composite with the tops. There's my tops on thunderstorms. You can see how that's clearly going to affect the area I'm going to be in. I can bring up the latest surface analysis. I can close that. I can bring up the freezing levels. Close that. I've got a plethora of material. It's just like being logged into aviationweather.gov. From here, I'll tell you what, I'll tap on the FAA TFRs. Now, this is different from what we saw in the overlays. This is the FAA generated TFR charts. So I'm going to be in the Alabama area. I'll tap on Alabama, and I'm looking for the red little circles or boxes for that are my TFRs. I got a couple little circles, but notice on the Gulf Coast of Texas, there's a box there. Probably some kind of an incident occurred, and that's the reason for the TFR. Now, one of the really cool things is, to help your workflow out, you can actually use the favorites. So to use the favorites, you pull up a chart, and you go to the upper right hand corner and you make the star that's white gold by tapping on it and this adds any chart that you want into your favorites and it's not there permanently you'll be able to edit it we'll show you that in a little bit but I'm just simply going through all of the imagery charts that I normally use the 12 hour surface analysis chart and I'm putting a star a gold star by my favorite charts that I use and I'll show you in a second here I can pull it up here's icing again I go down to that max icing potential chart I pull like the six hour one up, I'll put a star by that, close that out. 
As I come down to air mats and sig mats, I like to take the convective sig mat char. I'll put a star by that. I always take my air mat tango. That's for turbulence. I'll put a star by that one. I'll close that out. And then finally here, I'll take the Air Met Sierra, which is for IFR conditions. I'll put a star by that. Now, anytime I want to pull up my favorite charts, you hit the double star button. And the cool thing is once all my favorite charts come up, I can actually edit the order they appear. So I'll tap the edit button. Those three little line symbol on the right, I just hold my finger down. And I can reorder this into any order I want. So the nice thing for me is I come into imagery. I hit the double star button that brings up my favorites and I go to my favorite imagery charts that helps me make my workflow a lot more efficient. Here's an advisory for you. Viewing the imagery doesn't constitute a legal briefing. It's merely the starting point for developing a high level route strategy. Check out our flight briefing segment for more information on how to do a legal briefing.